Start your day with remembrance of us. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Dear viewers and listeners of Madani channel, marhaba, marhaba, welcome to one and all once again to your program called The Early Echo. We thank Allah Azza wa Jal who is our sustainer, provider, cherisher and nourisher, the master of the day of judgment, the owner, initiator and creator of everything that exists. We send peace and blessings on this Mubarak and blessed day upon the cause and cream of creation. the most exalted and celebrated prophet the peace of our hearts and mind the most generous and kind sallallahu alaihi wasallam we send peace and blessings upon his illustrious family and noble companions alaihi muridwan may allah azza wa jalla for the sake and through the blessings of makka and madinatul munawwara forgive us our major and minor sins dear viewers alhamdulillah and in today's episode uh, we are going to be discussing the blessings and virtues of mubarak day of jumuah what are the uh, specifications what are the virtues and blessings of mubarak day itself is what we are going to be discussing there are many points and there are uh, many ahadith and narrations with regards to the virtues of this day dear viewers which we would like to mention and it's my earnest appeal to the viewers with good good intentions please sit back and enjoy this program for all those who are watching this welcome all the viewers and listeners of madani channel listen to this mubarak and fragrant hadith which will surely motivate us to increase our recitation of durood salat and salams upon rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam as he sallallahu alaihi wasallam has stated whoever recites 200 salat upon me on a friday he is 200 years of sins will be forgiven allahu akbar allahu akbar 200 times on a friday and 200 years of his sins shall be pardoned and forgiven sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam salatan wa salaman alayka ya sayyidi ya rasulullah wa sallam alayka ya sayyidi ya nabiy allah dear viewers inshallah after we come back from the kalam inshallah we are going to be continuing with our discussion with regards to uh, jumuah itself inshallah so please stay tuned with madani channel and inshallah azza just after this kalam we shall return sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ले रजा सब चले मदीने को मैं न जाऊं अरे खुदा न करे जानो दिल हो शोखरद सब तो मदीने पहुंचे तुम नहीं चल रजा सारा तो सामान गया तो सामान गया मेरा दिल लार मेरी जान मदीने वाले मेरा दिल
अब न रख बे सरो सामान मदीने वाले अब न रख बे सरो सामान मदीने वाले फिर तमन Mmm. 
ماشاء اللہ الحمد للہ میرا دل اور میری جان مدینے والے اینڈ دس کلام واز ویری ویری بیوٹیفلی ریسائٹیڈ بائی ہز ایمیننس رکن شعرا حاجی عبد الحبیب اتاری دامت بارکاتہ العلیہ میں اللہ عز و جل گرانٹ ہیم اے لانگ ہیلتھی لائف اینڈ مے ہی کنٹینیو ٹو ریسائٹ دا پریزز آف دی موسٹ بلوڈ رسول صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دی اے ویوز آف مدنی چینل الحمد للہ رب العالمین کمیم بیک ٹو آور ڈسکشن that we have commenced with and as I said our discussion for today is the blessings of Jumu'ah so remember dear viewers of Madani channel Allah Azza wa Jalla has blessed us with such a Mubarak day such a blessed day if we only had to focus on our Kismet and how fortunate we are as Allah Azza wa Jalla has blessed us with the favor of Jumu'ah al-Mubarak for the sake of his beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but unfortunately regretfully like other ordinary days we spend even Friday heedlessly Whereas the truth of the matter is, is that this day is the day of Eid for the believers. It is superior to all the other days. The hadith of the Holy Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam states that the fire of hell is not lit and not blazed on the day of Friday. Yani it is not blazed on a Friday. And the gates of hell are not opened on a Friday. On the day of resurrection, Friday will be brought in the form of a bride. And the fortunate Muslims dying on a Friday attain the rank of martyrdom and remain safe from the torment of the grave at the same time. Allahu Akbar. Now, a renowned commentator of the Holy Quran e Pak, Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan Naimi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali has said, the reward of the Hajj performed on Friday is equivalent to 70 Hajj as the reward of a single virtuous deed performed on a Friday is enhanced by 70 times, dear viewers. Allahu Akbar, as Friday is an immensely sacred day, therefore, the punishment of a sin committed on a Friday is also increased and enhanced by 70 times. May Allah Azawajalla forgive us how words can express the excellence of Friday, dear viewers of Madhuri channel. It is the best day of the week. It is the best day upon which the sun had ever risen. By the name of Jumu'ah, Allah Azza has revealed a complete surah in the Holy Quran Ipaq that is present in the 28th chapter part of the Holy Quran Ipaq. Allah Azza has said in this surah of the Holy Quran Ipaq, which is known as Surah Jumu'ah, verse number 9, He Azza says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا نودي للصلاة من يوم الجمعة فسعوا إلى ذكر الله فسعوا إلى ذكر الله وذر البيع ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون Translation from Kanzul Iman Sharif. O believers, when the call of Salah is given on the day of Jumu'ah, yani Friday, so hurry towards the remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal and give up buying and selling 
ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ This is better for you if you know. Allahu Akbar. So, the importance of Jumu'ah, how should one haste and rush towards the remembrance of Allah Azza has been discussed in this ayah. Now, let's go to what Mufti Muhammad Na'imuddin Murada Badi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali had said as he is the Khalifa of Sayyidi Ala Hazrat Imam Ahmad Ridha Khan Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali. He states when the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was on his way to Madinatul Munawwara, yani um, during his migration from Makkah to Medina, he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had stopped at a place called Quba at the time of charged on a Monday and this was on the 12th of Rabi'ul Awwal. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stayed there for four days from Monday right to Thursday. During his Mubarak and blessed stay, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam laid the foundation stone of a masjid. For four days he stayed there and he laid the foundation stone of this masjid and on Friday he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam proceeded towards Madinatul Munawwara. When they had reached the area of Bani Salim ibn Auf. It was the time to offer Jumu'ah Salah. So people uh, gathered together at that place as Masjid, uh, at that place where the Holy Rasul offered the first Jumu'ah Salah. And that was the first time that Jumu'ah Salah and the sermon was delivered, dear viewers of Madani Channel, by the Prophet himself. In fact, the scholars have said, and many people have witnessed, and um, they go to make ziyarat of this masjid because this masjid exists even today, dear viewers. Alhamdulillah, the visitors behold the masjid for the attainment of blessings and other nawafil salah are also performed at this masjid to earn barakah and blessings. May Allah Azza enable us to also visit Medina and Makkah Sharif. Maybe also go there and perform our salah at this place where the first Jumu'ah was performed by the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now furthermore, uh, Hakim Al-Ummat Mufti Ahmad Yarkhan Naimi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali states that as all creatures assemble, in their beings on this day and the completion of the entire creation took place on the very same day. Allahu Akbar. The clay of Sayyidina Adam alayhi salatu wasalam was also collected on this day of Jumu'ah. Uh, once again, Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan Naimi rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi states that the Holy Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam, who is the peace of our hearts and mind, he is the most generous and kind sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He had performed 500 Jumu'ah Salah during his physical and apparent life, dear viewers of Madani Channel. Subhanallah. Because Salatul Jumu'ah had commenced subsequent to the migration after which the total period of the apparent life of the Holy Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam uh, is of course 63 and he spent Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 10 years in Madinatul Munawwara. So Subhanallah, the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spent 10 years in Madinatul Munawwara and there are 500 Fridays in 10 years period. So in this way here the calculation was done and he sallallahu alayhi wa had performed 500 Friday prayers, the Jumu'ah Salah in his or during his Mubarak and blessed apparent lifetime dear viewers. Subhanallah. May Allah Azza wa Jalla grant us the blessings. So Jumu'ah is very very important dear viewers but for those who spend this day heedlessly, for those who uh, would not give any attention to a Friday or treat this day as an ordinary day. Remember, there is a hadith in Tirmizi Sharif as the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa has said, Allah azza wa jalla will seal off the hearts of the one abandoning three Jumu'ah salahs out of laziness. Allahu Akbar. Out of laziness and heedlessness, if anyone misses three Jumu'ahs consecutively, consistently, continuously, then Allah will seal the heart of that person. Jumu'ah Salah is fardi'ayn and it's fardiyat, yani its obligation is more uh, emphatic than uh, Salatul Dhuhr. The denier of its obligation is an unbeliever, dear viewers. He is a kafir. May Allah uh, grant us love for this day as it has been emphasized over and again in the books of Ahadith with regards to the blessings of this day as we are mentioning its blessings as well, mashallah. So open your hearts and take down these points, mashallah, and remember them. 
Subhanallah, we wear beautiful imamas, we dress up on a Friday, a person has bath, he puts his best clothes that he has for the week, mashallah, he applies fragrances. All these are beautiful acts, dear viewers of Madani channel. Rasulullah sallallahu had said in a hadith, indeed Allah azza wa jalla and his angels send salat upon those who wear turbans, imama, on a Friday. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Furthermore, a person is cured as well. Sayyidina um, Humayd bin Abdurrahman radiyallahu anhu has narrated via his blessed father. He says the one who trims his nails, yani he clips his nails on a Friday, Allah Azza removes his diseases and blesses him with cure. Allahu Akbar. His diseases are removed. In fact, in, if you open Bahari Shariat, you would learn Sadru Sharia, Badru Tariqa, Hazrat Allama, Maulana, Muhammad Amjad Ali Azmi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala had said, it is stated in a blessed hadith that the one who clips his nails on a Friday, Allah will protect him from afflictions up to the next Jumu'ah, including three more days. This adds up to Ten in total, in accordance with one moderation, it has been stated the one who clips and trims his nails on a Friday, mercy will approach him and his sins will be removed. Allahu Akbar. Further on, Allama Sahib says, although it is preferable to clip the nails on a Friday, yet if the nails are very long, then one should not wait till Jumu'ah as growing long nails is a cause of uh, reduction in one's sustenance. Your sustenance will be reduced and you will face a deprivation in your sustenance. May Allah Azza wa Jalla grant us the understanding of the deen. A lot of people who have the fashion of growing the last baby nail, some have the fashion of growing the thumbnail. There is no significance in doing so, dear viewers of Madani channel. In fact, it has been stated in some ahadith, some narrations that long nails are like the swing of the devil. They would play on that, Allahu Akbar. The dua and the supplication of the one who has very long nails is not answered and fulfilled. Thus, if you want your duas to be answered, if you want your lawful wishes to be accepted, then try and keep up to the sunnah. Look at the beauty of Islam, Allahu Akbar. By clipping your nails with the intention of this being a sunnah on a Friday and follow the same tartib, yani the same sequence of clipping your nails as it is the sunnah of the Holy Rasulullah to start with the shahada finger of the right hand. And uh, this will take you up to your baby finger of your right hand. Then you move on to the baby finger of your left hand and you continue clipping your nails and you end on the thumb of your right hand. So you commence with the shahada finger of your right hand and you ended on the thumb of your right hand. This is the sunnah to clip your nails. And by doing so, Allah Azza wa Jalla saves a person from various types of afflictions. Can you imagine? This is the beauty and the husn of following the footsteps and the sunnah of Rasul Kareem Raufur Rahim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahu Akbar. If there is so much of reward to follow him, imagine if you completely become his servant. You become his true devotee, his true ashik and lover. How can you not attain blessings, dear viewers of Madani channel? So a fortunate Muslim is he who obeys the commandment of Allah Azza wa Jalla. As we mentioned, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu idha nudiya li salati min yawmil jumu'ati fasa'u ila dhikrillahi wa darul bay'i. So we recited this verse of the Holy Quran Ipaq from which we learned that we have been commanded to haste, to rush, and to hurry towards the remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jalla. So there are people out there who still desire to continue with business and with various type of activities that they are doing. There are people out there who would think and say to themselves that there is time because Jamaat is only at 1 o'clock, for example, in South Africa. This is the time when the safs are made and the namaz will then commence. The Jamaat for Friday. And there are people out there who say, it's fine, I don't need to listen to the sermon, I would just have to go and attain or attend the Jumu'ah prayer itself. Dear viewers of Madani channel, there is a great loss for people who assume and who think like this. Let's look at the hadith and the narrations which have been mentioned as the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa has said. On the onset of the day of Friday, the angels register the names of comers at the gateway of the masjid. Allahu Akbar. Now what do the angels do, dear viewers of Madani channel? Listen to this beautiful hadith of our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What the angels would actually do. These angels record the names 
uh, in order. The earlier comer is like the one who gives sadaqa of a camel in the path of Allah Azza wa Jalla. The next comer is like the one who gives a cow. They have these golden registers. They have these registers with, with these silver and golden pens, dear viewers. And they write the name of the comers, who came first, who came second. The one who comes first gets the reward of giving a camel in charity and sadaqah in the path of Allah. The one who came thereafter, he gets a reward of giving a cow. And the one who comes thereafter is like the donor who gives a sheep. And the one who comes thereafter is like the donor who gives a hen. Allahu Akbar. And the one who comes thereafter is like the one who donates an egg in the path of Allah Azza wa Jalla. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Dear viewers of Madani channel, when the Imam sits to deliver the sermon, the angels close the books of deeds and come to listen to the khutbah. Now the suggester is closed. Before the khutbah commences, if anyone came thereafter, would his name even be documented and registered? No. Because now the angels have closed this book and this hadith can be found in Sahih al-Bukhari, volume number one. Look at the authentication of this hadith, dear viewers of Madani channel. How authentic this hadith is and how important it is for us not to miss out. But yes, as I said in the very beginning, if this day is treated like other ordinary days, then a person would take his own time to reach the masjid and he would not be even concerned if he missed the khutbah in the sermon because his aim is to only join the congregational prayer and that too if he's a latecomer, Allahu Akbar, he doesn't know the blessings of sitting next to the Imam, sitting closer to the Imam. So this hadith also clearly indicates that those angels know the names of every comer. Jo har aane wala hai, unke naam ko bhi jante hai. Because they document and they write down the names of the comers who came second, third, fourth, fifth, right till the end until the khutbah commences. So this is something which is noteworthy, that if hundred people enter the masjid initially, they all would be regarded as the first comer. Agar so log ek martaba bhi dakhil hote hain, then to the angel will regard all of them as the first comer. And he knows their names and he will document them in the register which Allah has given them. If this is the power and ability granted to the angel who knows the names of every comer, can you imagine the knowledge, the knowledge of the unseen, the ilm e ghaib, of the master of these angels who is our beloved Nabi Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What will be the level of his knowledge and ilm? How can he not know the ummati that calls out to him? How does he not know the name of that ashik and lover and devotee who calls out to him with love and devotion? Faryad ummati jo kare haale zar mein Are mumkin nahi ke khair bashar ko khabar na ho This is impossible that he does not know the state of his ummati when an ummati earnestly calls out to the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallama So dear viewers of Madani channel there were times I heard this from my respected father I have heard this from great scholars of Islam as well that people in those days would take so much of precaution and give so much of time to a Friday. Yani, they would treat this day as the day of Eid and they would do everything to treat this day like that. But unfortunately, in today's day and age, this is lacking and this is missing, especially when it comes to the youth. They show no interest, however. If we only have to go through the virtues of this day, of every moment in this day, what Allah has kept in this day, Allahu Akbar. From your heart, you will definitely utter and say, Subhanallah. You will make the dhikr of Allah Azza wa Jalla. Let's listen, dear viewers of Madani channel. Rasulullah sallallahu had said, and this hadith has been narrated by Hazrat Sayyiduna Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. He has stated in a hadith, he had said that, Rasulullah sallallahu had said, Al-Jum'atu, Hajjul Masakeen, that Salatul Jum'ah is the Hajj of the destitute. Hai, 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 hai. Kya baat hai Madini ki? Jo gharib hai, jo ghuraba hai, jo masakin hai. It is the hajj for them. In another hadith he says, Al-Jum'atu hajjul fuqara. Salatul Jum'ah is the hajj for the poor. Hai, 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 hai. Subhanallah, subhanallah. In another hadith, he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, No doubt, no doubt there is one hajj and one umrah for you on every Jumu'ah, every Friday. Therefore, 
proceeding early for Salatul Jumu'ah is equivalent to Hajj. And waiting for Salatul Asr after performing namaz e Jumu'ah is equivalent to Umrah. Allahu Akbar. Agar koi masjid jata hai, Jumu'i ke din pe, subhanallah, and after performing Jumu'ah, he does not exit the masjid. And he remains there until Salatul Asr. Look at the reward. Rasulullah sallallahu says, Early proceeding for Salatul Jumu'ah is equivalent to Hajj. And waiting for Salatul Asr, going early for Salatul Jumu'ah will grant him and give him the reward of Hajj and waiting in the masjid in anticipation for the next Salah, which will be Asr. He will attain the reward and sawab of performing Umrah. Allahu Akbar. Hazrat Allama Mawlana Muhammad bin Muhammad bin Muhammad Ghazari Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali had said, Having performed Salatul Jumu'ah, one should remain in the Masjid till Salatul Asr. And staying in the Masjid till Asr Salah is even more preferable. If you can manage to stay till Maghrib, subhanAllah. But we find sometimes the elderly people, jiha, the old people, they are the ones who remain in the Masjid. Dear viewers of Madani Channel, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. They remain in the Masjid and they would spend a lot of time in the Masjid. Sometimes they stay till Asr and Maghrib, but the youth are the one who cannot wait to leave. Hamne yahan tak dekha hai, and this is observed, and it is commonly observed, dear viewers of Madani Channel. A lot of people would not even wait for the dua, and they would leave. Many people would leave just after the dua, and Allah Azza wa Jalla enabled them to perform their sunnah salahs in their homes or wherever they are going. May they never miss this, and this is the hope that we have. So Jumu'ah salah is very, very important, viewers and listeners of Madani Channel. Allahu Akbar, it is the chief of all the days, there is no doubt. As I mentioned, it is the best day of the week. And the sun has never risen on any other good day as this day, subhanAllah. Friday is the chief of all days, as the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu It is most magnificent amongst the days of the week in the court of Allah azza wa jalla. It is superior to even, listen attentively, Rasulullah sallallahu says, it is even more superior to Eid al-Adha and Eid al-Fitr in the court of Allah azza wa jalla. Why? Because it has five particular features. What are the features of this day? Number one, Allah Azza wa Jalla created Sayyidina Adam alayhi salatu wasalam on this day. Sayyidina Adam alayhi salatu wasalam descended upon the earth on this day. Hadrat Sayyidina Adam alayhi salatu wasalam passed away on this day. On Friday there is one such moment in which if someone prays for anything in the court of Allah Azza wa Jalla, he will be granted whatever he had asked for, provided he does not ask for anything haram. Allahu Akbar. The judgment day will take place on a Friday. These are the five specifications of this day. There is no such distinguished angel in the sky or on the earth, or the wind, mountain and river that does not fear from Friday. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Fear for the day of judgment, dear viewers of Madani Channel is something which is so important, subhanAllah. According to another narration, Rasulullah sallallahu had said, there is no animal, there is no animal in this world that does not scream from dawn to sunrise every Jumu'ah, yani every Friday out of the fear of the Day of Judgment, except these two creations of Allah Jalla, Insan and Jinnat. They show heedlessness when it comes to this, but besides them, every other animal on this planet even the air, the wind, the jinn, um, the angels, the mountains, everything on this planet and everything in this universe fears from this day of Friday because the day of Qiyamah will occur on this day. Allahu Akbar. We don't know when this will happen. Dear viewers of Madani Channel, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. We are going to come back to the next points which are to do with dua. Now, dua is something which we all need. It is the weapon of a believer. Allahu Akbar, ad dua wa mukhul ibadah. And also, dua is the essence of worship. How can one make dua on a Friday and have his dua accepted? What are the moments on a Friday, inshallah, azawajal? What are those moments? Which are those moments in a Friday in which duas are answered and fulfilled? is what we are going to be discussing just after this Madani pearl that we are going to be listening to. Pay attention to this beautiful fuller until we return, dear viewers. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani channel, today, inshallah, azawajal, we will learn about the few permissible activities post Salatul Jumu'ah. 
Allah Azza wa Jal has said in the 10th verse of Surah Jumu'ah, part 28, translation from Kanzul Iman, and when the Salah ends, spread out in the land and seek Allah's munificence and profusely remember Allah in the hope of attaining success. Commenting on the foregoing verse, Allama Maulana Sayyid Muhammad Naimuddin Muradabadi Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alayhi has written in Khazainul Irfan, having offered Friday Salah, it is permissible for you to occupy yourselves in earning your livelihood or earn the reward by acquiring Islamic knowledge, visiting the sick, attending funerals, visiting scholars, attending a gathering of religious knowledge after Friday Salah is preferable. Therefore, Hujjatul Islam, Sayyidina Imam Muhammad bin Muhammad bin Muhammad Ghazali rahmatullahi ta'ala alayhi narrated that Sayyidina Anas bin Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu has said, the verse does not refer to worldly trade and businesses only. Rather, it refers to seeking Islamic knowledge, visiting brothers, visiting the sick, attending funerals, and carrying out other such activities. Respected viewers of Madani channel, let's all abide by what we just learned from the translation of the Holy Quran and the sayings of Allah Azza wa and spread out in seeking our livelihood post Salatul Jumu'ah, but that when it's time for Salatul Jumu'ah, let's hasten towards the mosque to offer Salatul Jumu'ah in a proper and dignified manner. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Welcome back, mashallah, marhaba, and this was Muballighi Da'wat Islami, uh, who was sharing with us these amazing pearls, mashallah, activities that should be carried out after Jumu'ah, salah, alhamdulillah. Wa to Jumu'in ki baat ki baat hai, mashallah, what's to be done after namaz Jumu'ah is performed, amal ki tawfiq Allah azza wa jalla hamiya ta'a farmai apne habib ke sadqe mein. However, this is the moment in which a person wants his du'as to be unsaid dear viewers firstly i would like to say that there is a book or a booklet of da'wat islami which can be found on the website of the of da'wat islami if you go to www.dawaslami.net and to the library section you will surely find this book called the manners of dua and uh, there are many other books also written uh, with regards to dua how should dua be made what are the manners of dua the etiquettes of dua what types of dua a person should make first learn that dear viewers inshallah go through it and uh, after that if we focus on these points inshallah as Rasulullah sallallahu had said, on Friday there is one such moment which if a Muslim gets, yani if he finds the time and asks Allah Azza for anything in that particular moment, Allah will most definitely grant him whatever he has desired for as long as it's not haram. That moment is very, very short. The actual hadith uh, of the Holy Rasul sallallahu is that that moment is very short and this hadith can be found in Sahih al-Muslim. Subhanallah. Now in another narration, the Prophet of Rahmah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said on Friday, look for the moment that is desired from Asr to sunset. So the moment from between Asr to sunset is very, very important, dear viewers of Madani channel. And Subhanallah, Sadr al-Shari'a, Mulana Amjad Ali Azmi rahmatullahi ta'ala has stated, there are two very strong statements concerning the instant in which supplications is fulfilled on Friday. Now, which are those true, very strong instants? He says, from the moment when the Imam sits for the sermon to the end of the Salah. From the moment when he sits, from the moment when the Imam sits for delivering the sermon to the end of the Salah. The second, he says, the last instant of Friday. Now, you will find many ahadith and narrations with regards to this, as it is stated, Hadrat uh, Sayyiduddana Fidda radiyallahu ta'ala anha is the maid of Fatima Zahra radiyallahu anha. Fatima Zahra radiyallahu anha would say to her that um, you should let me know about the sunset. So she would leave the home and she would inform and indicate Fatima Zahra radiyallahu anha about the sunset. The moment the sun would decline, the moment the sun would set, Allahu Akbar, then she radiyallahu anha would go into prostration or she would lift her hands and make dua and she would say, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasanata wa kina adhab al -nar. Allahu Akbar, this is a very concise dua, a jami' dua that includes every type of goodness which is permissible for us to have as the ummatis of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The renowned commentator of the Holy Quran, Ipaq, Mufti, uh, uh, Ahmad Yar Khan Naimi rahmatullahi ta'ala had stated at night there comes a moment during which supplications yani your du'as are answered but Friday Friday Jumu'ah is the only day which has such a moment during the daytime 
However, it is not known for sure as to which moment is it actually. This has been concealed and hidden. The strong likelihood is that this is either between the two sermons, the two khutbah when the Imam sits for a break, or a short while before Maghrib Salah. As I said, when the sun would set, Fatima Zahra radiallahu anha would make dua, subhanallah. So if you keep these two in mind, dear viewers, and know that Allah Azza wa Jalla forgives the sins of a person, Allahu Akbar, how his du'as are answered, how his sins are forgiven. Rasulullah says there are 24 hours in a night and day of a Friday. There is not a single such hour in which Allah does not release 600,000 sinners from hell for whom hell had become due, dear viewers. Upon whom hell was necessary and wajib, dear viewers of Madinin channel. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. In one hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala had said, The one who dies during the day or night of Friday, he will be saved from the torment of the grave and he will be resurrected on the day of judgment with the seal of martyrs. There will be a stamp on him that will say that he is a shaheed. He has left this world as a martyr. Allahu Akbar. The one who dies during the day or night of a Friday, he will be saved from the torment of the grave and will be resurrected on the day of judgment with the seal of martyrs, dear viewers of Madani Channel. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. So sins between the two Fridays are also forgiven as Sayyidina Salman Farsi radiallahu anhu has narrated that the Holy Prophet sallallahu had said, the one who takes a bath on a Friday attains the purity sanctification that was possible for him. He did everything to take all the najasat away from him. He removed all the impurities and he attained purity for the pleasure of Allah Azza And he found the Friday, he did it on a Jummah, he applies oil on his hair and lawful perfumes which are halal and permissible for him to use if it's available, Allahu Akbar. And then he heads towards the masjid to offer salah of Jumu'ah and does not cause separation between two people, like causing fights and arguments between people. He does not sit between two people by causing difficulties for them. Offers salah, salatul jumu'ah, which is ordained for him, and stays silent during the imam's sermon. His sins committed between this Friday and the previous one are all forgiven, dear viewers of Madani Channel. Allahu Akbar. People who intrude people by walking between the sufuf or between two people, such people, dear viewers of Madani channel, cause difficulties when you enter the masjid and you decide to sit right at the back when the imam consistently advises to please come to the front for the same reason, so that the latecomers would not have to, you know, charge through the rows of people. Jiha. They would not have to move two people away and then walk between them. Subhanallah, from this Jumu'ah to the next one, Allah has forgiven his sins. He is pardoned, dear viewers. His sins are forgiven. Before I terminate viewers of Madini channel, there are so many blessings for visiting your parents on a Friday, people who go to the Qabristan on a Friday, either one of them or if both have passed away, what are the virtues and the blessings of visiting their graves? The Prophet of Allah Azza wa Jalla had said, your deeds are presented before Allah Azza wa Jalla every Mondays and Thursdays, whereas they are presented before the Prophets alayhi salatu wasalam, and your parents every Friday if they have passed away. He said, pleased by your deeds, pleased by your virtuous deeds, the beauty and the brilliance of their faces enhances. Your deceased parents will become happy to see your virtuous deeds. Therefore, fear Allah and do not grieve your deceased ones by committing sins. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. So, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Fortunate are those Muslims who follow the narrations and the tariqah and the way of our beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa He performs those actions which will be the cause of his forgiveness. Yes, on a Friday he goes to visit a sick person. Rasulullah sallallahu says he attends a funeral salah or he fasts. He offers the salatul jumu'ah and freeing a slave. All of this is such reward and such sawab for him. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Rasulullah sallallahu said, Allah azza wa jalla will write his name among the dwellers of heaven. If he does these five things, subhanallah, he visits a sick person, he attends a funeral salah, he fasts on a Friday. Of course, connecting it with another day before or after, either Thursday and Friday or Friday and Saturday for the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jalla. And he offers Salatul Jumu'ah 
and he frees a slave for the sake and for the pleasure of Allah Azzawajalla. Allah Azzawajalla will write his name amongst the Jannatis. And furthermore, if Friday or Saturday falls on sacred dates such as the 15th of Sha'aban or 27th of Rajab, there is no harm in fasting on such uh, days as well. Rasulullah has said, Friday is the Eid for you. It is the day of happiness for you. Do not fast on this day unless you add another fast on its preceding or succeeding day. May Allah Azza grants us the reward for a dear viewers. So yes, may we attain reward and may we increase our enthusiasm to fast as well. And now inshallah, we stand for salam in the court of the Holy Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Ya Nabi Salam Alaika Ya Rasul Salam Alaika Ya Habib Salam Alaika Salawatullah Alaika Salawatullah Alaika Habibi Sayyidi Ya Rasul Allah Aqraha Matu Kita Jwale Do Jaha Ke Rajwale Or Arish Ki معراج والے آسیوں کے لاج والے یا نبی سلام علیکہ یا رسول سلام علیکہ یا حبیب سلام Salawatu Allah alayka Salawatu Allah alayka Dear viewers, inshallah, we will be back with another episode. Remember, this is the maqsad and the mission of your da'wat islami. I must strive to reform myself and the people of the entire world. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.